This video deals with the basic framing functions in Custom Framer Portrait Studio. Unlike other proofing programs, Custom Framer builds the framing process right into the process of reviewing your images with your customer. So to start the process, let's start a new customer, start next customer, and add new customer to the list, give the customer a name, John Doe, we'll save it, confirm, and OK. We can skip this screen here, because what we're going to do here is we are going to load the images that we've already taken for John Doe. Load images, and we're going to open all files in this folder. Open as a gallery, and add the thumbs to the workspace. There they are. We can manage our thumbnails using this control here, where you load thumbs or view a number across. Two, four, six across. I like to work with four across. Okay. So let's get right into the framing process. All we have to do is select the image. On the right hand side, the frame it button is linked to our favorite galleries. And one of those is our wall frames. Select that, they appear on the left hand side. Just drag a frame over. It'll ask us for what size we want it or want the image to be. In this case, 20 by 16. Confirm OK. And if we like it, we can say save. And there it is as part of our proofing window. Let's select an, another image here. And this time, instead of frames, let's go quick frame and moldings. Again, they'll appear on the left hand side. Just scroll down and drag it over. Go 16 by 16. Confirm. We like it. In this case, I don't really like it. So I'm going to say no. Another thing we can do is we can select a number of images. And let's find a different frame. Drag the frame over. Select the size. 20 by 24. OK. And now all of the images that we selected are available framed. Now I'm continuing to use my right and left click to review the images. And notice at the bottom of the screen it says Quick Frame. I'll show you that framing option in just a second there. So let's get out of here. If we like what some of the work we've done, select, use our control key, select another one. And let's add these to the cart. It's asking for a uh, name for the cart. And let's actually start off as a new cart here. So let's give it a name for the customer. John Doe, Doe Cart 1, save, okay, and now let's check out what's in our cart here. There are the images and the, the image and the frame that we've added. Let's go back to our proof mode. So we've seen how you select the image and then select the frame it button and then just drag one of your frames or moldings over, select the size, confirm, there it is framed, if we like it, save, and there it is right there. Now, if you're looking for something a bit more sophisticated, 
you can still work here but this time we are going to select the image frame it and if you notice before in the wall moldings we had what do we call ah they're there the combinations just drag a combination again select your size And the combination had our frame, our, our mats, and you can also have your glass all in there at once and all priced for you. We like that. Save. There it is there, saved. And send it to the cart, to cart. Okay, now to get on to our next level of sophistication. If you notice, there is the option for a quick frame. Select one of the images. Let's just d double click. You notice that there's a quick frame button on the right hand side. Or you can select the thumbnail and on the right here there's a quick frame button. Let's double click here. Use your mouse right or left click to review your images. Select quick frame. And now we're in a different framing mode. Here we select our size, 16 by 20. We can select our mats. We can either select to view a gallery on the left hand side or our mats open up. Or what we can do here as well is go to our mats list and we can if we know the either the color name or the catalog name we can select directly from the catalog name select and let's go for a mat number two just drag it over here let's go back to mat number one and makes make this larger three inches. Now our frames, these are linked to our list of frame galleries, molding galleries. Again, we can open up one of the saved galleries or instead of that frame, we can go to our a molding list and just select and there it is all framed for you if you like it just send it to the cart another thing in this mode here which is the quick frame mode you can see a report with all of your prices and you can also change your background black background white black background, select a color for your background, okay, or select an image from your database, Firm. double click, and you can place it on your background in any position. Escape to exit, and just to return to our proof mode. So you can quickly move between your proof mode, your cart, and your quick frame mode, either using this button here, the quick frame button, or the mode button up here. So those are the basic functions of framing within the modes that most photographers will be working with. Uh, when they have a client in front of them. We hope that you enjoy working with uh, Custom Framer Portrait Studio and that you find it a very profitable experience.